This is a live emergency briefing as we have two supercells that have gone up and uh, are producing tornadoes, two tornadic supercells. Uh, very damp, uh, dangerous situation here evolving in northern Illinois between Rockford and DeKalb, uh, northwest of Sycamore, north and Cla of Clare, uh, just south of the Kirkland area, as well as north of Monroe Center. So we've got dual tornadic supercells here in northern Illinois. And uh, pull up the uh, velocity imagery here. These are where those circulations are located. Uh, this one just to the northwest of Clare, and uh, this one uh, near the Monroe Center area. And I did just see on one of these warnings a confirmed uh, damaging tornado, and it looks like it was with this southern one, went near the Esmond area. Uh, definitely very close there to the Esmond area, likely causing damage, uh, ripping off to the east there. It looks like it was that renegade storm. The back one tried to intensify as well near Monroe Center, and I don't know if that one uh, actually produced a tornado, but I do believe it was this lead one. It was indeed the lead storm uh, that was the confirmed uh, tornado producer, and uh, the back one is still radar indicated right now. I do have storm chaser friends that are on the ground out in this area, so I'm waiting to get the report. Does look like you can see a debris uh, indication there near the Esmond area. Looks like it might have just weakened, but it looks like it was pretty intense and went through Esmond, uh, lofting some debris into the air. Uh, not a, as clear of a debris signature as you can get sometimes, but definitely does look like there was a debris signature there. Esmond, Illinois, there you can see it. It's starting to uh, fluff out a little bit as it lifts off to the northeast so far. Uh, ground reports do confirm. Uh, that tornado as well and on reflectivity you can just tell these tornado producers they have a certain look to them here you can see this hook like appendage forward flank uh, gust front there very tight gradient uh, here hooks on the back side uh, indications that these things are cycling too you could definitely see this bulge out just a little bit but these are dual uh, tornado producers tornado watch in northern illinois continues here these ones are battling against a little bit of stable air from that uh, morning complex of thunderstorms and showers uh, this morning. So we always thought it was going to be on the western edge uh, of this convective line uh, that ends up being the, uh, the main event here. Uh, this is a live radar breakdown of this uh, tornado situation. It was the lead storm that was the uh, tornado producer here north of Clare right now. So I wouldn't be surprised if this thing is still on the ground, even though that debris signature shows that it has lifted a little bit still a mesocyclone there to the north of claire illinois that we are watching right here in that area it does look like uh, this uh, circulation has broadened a bit which is uh, consistent uh, with that debris circulation uh, weakening as it lifted off to the northeast of edmund you can see it was a tighter circulation closer to esmond illinois now it's becoming a little bit more broad so i do think that that tornado likely has just lifted and it looks like even this latest scan it looks a little bit more broad to the north of Clare but we still have these two tornado warnings looks like the back one has started to consolidate a little bit more as this one's starting to weaken just to the east of Monroe Center is where the potential tornado would be right there east of Monroe Center Illinois damn this fly keeps coming after me in here what the hell gotta be kidding me it's lighting me up so uh definitely this Baxter Circulation is starting to consolidate here right now just to the east of Monroe Center. Uh, and there's a circulation to the north of Clare, Illinois, uh, that we're watching very closely. Storm motion generally off to the east. Uh, I always thought if one of these could peel off the line and move a little bit more southeast, then we'd probably have uh, a, more like, a greater likelihood of even a significant tornado uh, with these. But there's a lot of big-time instability building in from the southwest of these storms, two to 3,000 Cape pumping in here looking at echo tops to see relative health here of storms and look at that this is giving us some information that this back one is really starting to intensify just to the east of east monroe northeast of rochelle there's rochelle just to the south of this storm a lot of chasers saying they're chasing rochelle 2.0 here totally different setups but definitely a, a robust tornado potential with this it looks like this one started to weaken this lead one a little bit. The echo tops are coming down. The mesocyclone is starting to broaden a little bit. But it did have a little debris signature 
there for a little bit. And now, at least on Echo Tops, it looks like this back one's probably going to re-energize there. That is uh, to the northeast of Rochelle. So we got these dual circulations here in northern Illinois. Uh, the Tornado Watch does include uh, Chicago as well with these storms tracking off to the southeast. Usually these MCVs are just tornado factories. So I'm not surprised that this thing is producing tornadoes here, even due south of that low center. We also had a tornado further north uh, on the Wisconsin side earlier that was kind of due east of that MCV low center. Down here, I think that the wind shear is probably just a little bit too veered. So really, we're looking at just this window right here. Uh, these dual supercells tracking off to the east-southeast on the nose of that instability that's coming in from the southwest. two to 3,000 cape here, streaming in from the northeast across northern Illinois. And uh, this is that MCV boundary. Also, an accelerating low-level jet out ahead of this. Best low-level shear, kind of like that, but the stable air. A little bit closer to Chicago after that morning area of showers and thunderstorms went through. So really you've got this narrow corridor here, two supercells, straightforward target, uh, two tornado producers right now. The back one looks to be intensifying just a little bit. The bean shapes here, classic bean shape supercells, dual tornado warnings, but it does look like these uh, have lifted for the time being. So I'm gonna get back, uh, I'm gonna do my dishes really quick. And I'm going to continue monitoring this tornado threat across northern Illinois. And I'll go live again if either of these supercells takes off and uh, produces a dangerous tornado once again. But that one looks like a touchdown. Brief tornado just to the east of Esmond, very near the Esmond area. Uh, don't think it was too significant, uh, but definitely a tornado threat continues through evening here for this area. So stay safe and stay tuned to those warnings. Never stop flexing.